let's make some inferences. Okay. And what do we have here? Oh my gosh, it's a graphic organizer. Can you believe it? I just love graphic organizers. So first, let's talk about how this might help us. This is going to help us gather clues from the text. And then we're going to take what we already know in our smart little brains and put that together with the clues to make an inference. But here we go. Look at that awesome looking bat. Okay, let's start to read through our text. Bats are interesting in many ways. One fun fact, ooh, we know facts are coming up, so that's a good thing to use as a text clue. One fun fact about bats is that they eat a lot of annoying insects. Little brown bats, which are common in North America, can eat more than 1,200 mosquitoes in an hour. Wow, so this would be a good thing to put into the graphic organizer, that some bats can eat more than 1,200 mosquitoes in an hour. Now, what do we know? about mosquitoes. We know that mosquitoes are, as the author says, they're annoying. Nobody likes mosquitoes. But some of you may know that mosquitoes carry diseases, like the Zika virus maybe you heard about on television. So if bats are eating these diseases for us, or eating the annoying mosquitoes for us that are carrying diseases, then what's something we can make up that's not in this text? Well, Bats eat mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are kind of bad, so bats can be helpful to humans. That's an inference. Let's keep going. Bats rely on their hearing very much. They have special cells in their ears. Some bats can hear the softest of sounds. Now, that is a nice text clue. Now, think of something very soft that you can hear. But then think of something that you can't hear. What is something you can't hear? Have you ever heard? A beetle walking on a leaf? I can't. But the bats with their special cells in their ears, and that we know they like to eat bugs, obviously, bats with their special ears can hear soft sounds like bugs walking. So bats have extraordinary hearing. Just look at the size of those ears. Those are gigantic ears for a small little face. Let's keep going. These flying mammals come in various sizes. Some bats are light as a dime, like a Southeast Asian bat called Kitty's hog-nosed bat. Some are much larger in size, like a Malaysian flying fox. It weighs about two pounds and has a wingspan of up to five feet. Whoa, okay, so we know that some bats, that there are light. Light as a dime, but also think, uh, weighs, some can weigh up to two pounds, but some can be super large. So this is something for us to think about. So let's think. What is about five feet tall? Well, just look around in your classrooms. Most fourth graders are about five feet tall. So man, some bat's wings can be as long as a fourth grader. Now, those long bats only weigh as much as a dime or two pounds. Now imagine if you were walking outside and you were as light as a feather, but you were still the same height. Or if you were walking outside and you weighed only two pounds, what do you think would happen if the wind blew? Hmm, you'd probably fly away like a kite, like a kid who lost his kite on a string. So, because bats can be so large but weigh so tiny, what's something that we can infer? Do you think bats probably like flying in the wind? Probably not. Bats definitely have trouble flying in the wind if they are that big and that light. So that's how you make an inference. You just take a clue from the text, you put it with something you know, and make it a new fact or a new conclusion. And that's how you make inferences, everybody. Later!